We're going to do a short video showing the Lee App Press, doing the bullet sizing, doing some 9 millimeter. These are 125 grain from the Lee mold. Already started a few here, actually. Uh, got all these to do. That's the ones I've done before I decided to do a video, and I got a couple thousand more I cast last week. Sitting over behind me, I have yet to powder coat those. These are powder coated in Eastwood Clear. Um, very good coverage. It coats white, so you can see your coverage before you bake it, and it bakes clear. I'll try to hold this with one hand and uh, show you this press and operation. Hopefully, it won't be too shaky. Works like a Lee push through that you use on another on the other traditional presses. This is just a whole lot faster. These are round nose, so I find that doing them nose up works a lot better because they want to fall around when they go round nose down, and I don't get any kind of distortion. Just a the slightest little flat spot on the nose of the bullet, and there went one launched off. That happens sometimes. Anyway, overall, I'm happy with it. I use it for mass depriming dirty range brass before it goes into my wet tumbler and uh, bullet sizing. Let me show some of the others I was talking about. This is a, it's probably another 800 to 1,000 9 millimeter in there, and I've actually got some 401 diameter. These are for 10 millimeter 40 caliber. I've got to have to roll on top. They're all waiting to be powder coated. Just a small batch of 357 Magnum. These are 158 grain all from a Lee mold. Tumble lube design, but they'll be powder coated with clear. And I've got the 125 grain. These will be shot in a 38 Special. My son, he just, he loves those. And a few more 158 grain semi-wad cutter. All these will be powder coated and then they'll go over for sizing.